Um, my name's uh, Jonathan Yates and uh, I work for the British Antarctic Survey. I'm currently uh, driving across the Pine Island uh, Glacier or part of the Pine Island Glacier from two, uh, two science sites. So site uh, I-21 to site I-22 um, on the I-Star Traverse. At the moment we're in a um, Caspora Piston Bully Polar 300, um, which is a, a machine which has been designed from the ground up as a, as a snow machine, so it's a little, uh, a little more specific to working in the snow than other machines that, that ourselves and other um, countries run uh, in Antarctica. Um, its originally, original design was for, for use on ski slopes, uh, but this particular machine um, and the others which, which we have down here in Antarctica have all been modified for polar use, so for, uh, for colder temperatures. Also they've got um, slightly larger engines um, and various other modifications to help us with the conditions down here. Yeah. Uh, in total we've driven uh, around about 1400 kilometres um, but we've still got a little way to go with another 45 kilometers to the next site and then we're going to an overwintering site which is about 70 kilometers from there so we have a little way to go. Uh, our average speed in the piston bullies uh, is normally around about 10 kilometers an hour but obviously that's uh, very dependent on conditions. Certain parts of the traverse we were down to four or five kilometers an hour um, and if the conditions are good we can go anywhere up to sort of 14 15 kilometers an hour uh, we tend not to do the higher speeds because they use a lot more fuel when we do that um, so yeah the, the distances take quite a long time to uh, to cover but we are pulling an awful lot of equipment and uh, there's 12 people as well so it's actually quite an efficient way uh, litre for litre of fuel for moving this amount of cargo and, and people. I first, uh, I first uh, got the opportunity to use the, the, the Polars um, in 2010 on the input season for iStar and it was after uh, several seasons working for British Antarctic Survey as a mechanic and uh, I really fancied a bit of a change from working on base and um, being out on the I-Star Traverse is an unusual opportunity for a mechanic operator because normally we don't get to spend this, this amount of time out in the field. Normally we're based um, on station or at one of the deep field stations so it was a perfect opportunity to spend some time deep field which uh, which is really exciting and good fun as well. So you enjoyed this despite being stuck with dozens of readers? Uh, being stuck with uh, nine scientists obviously is a major disadvantage to the whole thing, but we all have our cross to bear uh, with regards to, uh, to getting out in the field. But it's actually been more pleasant than I expected, so that's a bonus. That's good, thank you, Johnny. <laughs> You're very welcome. <laughs>